Welcome to the Saints Weekly Roundup, where we talk about what's happened and what's happening at St. Thomas Aquinas High School. I'm Jordan. I'm Danielle. And I'm Emily. And this semester, we've had lots of opportunities to grow in our faith, and recently we celebrated All Saints Day Mass. We're going to hear more on our All Saints Mass from our campus minister, Mrs. Salazar, being interviewed by Michael. Hi, thanks, guys. So right now, I am here with Mrs. Salazar. She is with Campus Ministry. So what do you do at Campus Ministry, Ms. Salazar? Well, Michael, Campus Ministry is a class and a club. It's a class for seniors, and it's one of their theology electives, so they can choose um, to be part of the course. And in that class, we learn how to be different liturgical ministers, like lectors, um, extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion. We plan the masses, the music, the decorations, art and environment. Um, all those sorts of things. We also have a small prayer group together and do a Bible study. Um, and then the club is um, head up by Mrs. Eikenberry and me and Mr. Blaze. And in the club, we're going to do some things coming up um, to get ready for Advent. Wow, that sounds like a lot of stuff. Um, so recently we had All Saints Day Mass, and uh, well, I was just wondering, how do you guys prepare for a big ma- all school masses like that? Like, what what sort of amount of planning and cooperation goes into that? Sure. So planning for a big all school mass, especially a holy day of obligation like All Saints Mass, we start planning at least three weeks in advance. We look at the readings, and based on the readings, we write petitions. We choose the music. Um, we figure out what liturgical color and what season we're in, so how we're going to decorate based on the church calendar. Um, so those are all the things that we do, and we um, give everyone certain jobs and assignments, so we're all prepped on the day of the Mass. We're ready to go. Thank you, Mrs. Salazar, for talking with me, and I'll hand it back to you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Michael. There was something really special about that mass, and the choir just blew us away with their incredible voices. I loved the musical that was put on this year, and I'm so excited for our winner play, Rudolph. The class list was posted this week, and there is some amazing and talented students participating. Get your tickets now, because this is going to sell out. Let's take it down to Christina, who interviewed Matthew, the lead role of Rudolph. Thank you guys. Today I'm here with Matthew, who's Rudolph in the play, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Does it feel to be Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Um, it feels great, and I'm very excited. Okay. Um, what excites you the most about your role? Um, probably, like, getting to be with all my friends, and I guess just having a lot of fun. So, that's, I mean, that's pretty much every single show, but I think I'm more excited for this one, so... Okay, awesome. Um, what are some important things to accomplish at the beginnings of rehearsals so they're, since they're starting soon? Uh, probably memorizing lines and kind of just getting to know the show. Um, I know it's like a one-for-one one copy of the movie, but that's okay. It's still, it's, it's going to be fun. So that's probably what I'm going to try and accomplish. All right, thank you, Matthew. Back to you guys. Thanks, Christina. We have open house this Saturday from 9 to 12 p.m. Come check out our family. If you are a current student, we encourage you to participate by sitting at your sports table or club table or being around to answer questions. Let's hear from our president on why you should choose St. Thomas Aquinas. Good morning, President Shank. Thank you for joining us. Do you mind telling me the importance of open house? I think the open house is a great opportunity where our school and our students and our teachers and our coaches and moderators are able to really show what the spirit of being a saint is all about. And President Shank, do you mind telling me why it's so important that students get involved? Yeah, I think it's important that students are involved because they are our community. They're the ones that are forming the strength of what we do here. This is the reason why we exist, to make our students better leaders, better Christians, better individual friends with with each other. I, I just, they are the true spirit of why we're here. Thank you so much for joining us today, Mr. Shank. No problem. Thanks, Mr. Shank. Football is back in action, and we are taking on Bishop Miege at Miege for our semifinal game. It's going to be a cold one out there, so bundle up and get ready to cheer. We're going to pass it down to Sydney, who is with Juju. Thank you guys so much. Well, I'm here with Juju, who's part of our D-line for Aquinas football. Um, so after that big win against St. James, what emotions are going through your head? Um, excitement and just joy that we came back and beat them after they beat us previously. So it was pretty good. 
yeah that was a huge win um and another question just like preparing for this upcoming game what are those like intentions as a team and what has your coach been doing differently or even the same going into this next game um give the ball to sean carroll defense does our job d-line step up yeah that's awesome um and being an athlete who's both in football and basketball how do you do like time management and getting ready for basketball season coming up oh it's hard my body is like i don't know how i'm gonna do it this year but i'll, ma I'll manage but it's definitely gonna be a long year well thank you so much congratulations on your last win we're excited to see how the rest of the season goes back to you guys Thank you, Sydney. We are so excited for our Saints. Let's go, Saints. <laughs> I love that excitement. Let's go. Thank you for tuning in to another Saints Weekly Roundup. I'm Emily. I'm Danielle. And I'm Jordan. And, and we, we will see, see you next week. week.